What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this woman up here? This woman right here is Ken, Kendria Gris, Grigsby. She's age 42. Kendria Grigsby. She was a cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School out here in uh, near Houston. This bum ass dude right here is her 21 year old son, Roger McGee. This woman right here taught cosmetology in school, teaching young girls to be beautiful and how to make other people beautiful. All the while, this woman right here had a devilish side to her and she had a son assist her. This woman right here is locked up. Today she was supposed to be in court. She uh, waived her right to appear in court. And this woman is accused of sex trafficking and compelling prostitution. The age of the girls, 15, 16, and 17. They were runaways. And you know what? Take a look at the story. It's heartbreaking. And I'm telling you right now, both her and her son need to be set on fire. And I'll explain why. Check this out. Today, we are learning new details about a disturbing allegations against a Klein ISD cosmetology teacher. Well, this afternoon, Kedra Grigsby and her son are both behind bars on charges of child sex trafficking and prostitution. Michelle Choi has the latest from court. Yeah, Kedra Grigsby waived her initial court appearance this morning. She was given a total bond of $750,000. The 42-year-old mother and her son, 21-year-old Roger McGee, are accused of recruiting and trafficking teenage victims. The allegation is that Ms. Grigsby, um, in conjunction with her son Roger, uh, was operating a prostitution enterprise with three female juvenile complaining witnesses, at least three. According to Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, the victims were 15, 16, and 17-year-old students and reported runaways. It's alleged Grigsby recruited troubled juveniles from local high schools by offering them a place to stay at a motel. The investigating officer evidently determined that uh, there is at least one occasion where Ms. Grigsby had paid for the motel room that was uh, used in the prostitution enterprise. Grigsby is accused of transporting the victims too. In court, prosecutors said at least two of the teens were seen in a car allegedly driven by Grigsby at the motel. We also learned Grigsby and her son allegedly used Zell to transfer money. Investigators say they found text messages between the two talking about payments and fees, as well as messages sent between her son and the victims. According to Klein ISD, Grigsby is a certified cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School. We're told she was hired back in 2019 and passed a background check at the time. The district says Grigsby was immediately relieved of her teaching duties and placed on administrative leave Monday after they learned about her arrest, which they say happened off campus and parents were notified shortly after. The district says they weren't aware of the allegations or her alleged connection to her son, who investigators say was arrested in 2022 for similar charges until yesterday when the sheriff's office alerted them. At this time, Grigsby, who we learn lives with her husband and two children, is charged with three counts of trafficking a child and three counts of compelling prostitution of juveniles, but will likely face additional charges, according to prosecutors who anticipate more victims to come forward. Grigsby is expected to face a judge in criminal court tomorrow morning. Back to you. All right, guys, remember I told you about the energy you give off and, you know, you as a parent putting your children in the best position possible for maximum growth and efficiency out here and them building their lives for themselves. It's a perfect example of the failure that parents do. Now, this woman right here was married. Three kids of her own. You wasn't selling your kids ass, but you'll go sell some uh, runaway uh, children. They got parents that are probably looking for them. 15, 16, 17 year old students. She would go to other high schools and find runaways. I don't even know how you find a runaway. Then what? Offer them shelter. Sometimes food. I'm here for you. You treated them children like livestock. You need your face peeled off. And that's real rap. Look at this right here. The investigating officer evidently determined that 
there's at least one occasion where Miss Gris Grigsby had paid for a motel room that was used in the prostitution enterprise, the judge said. Grigsby is accused, accused of transporting the victims, too. In court, the prosecutor said an investigation investigating officer was looking for evidence in a motel room that was allegedly paid for by Grigsby when one of the victim, victims walked in and then ran out and got into a silver car believed to be driven by Grigsby. They said there was at least one, uh, one other victim inside the vehicle. In probable cause court, we also learned Grigsby and her son allegedly used Zell to transfer money. Prosecutors said investigators found text messages between them talking about payments and prostitution fees, as well as messages sent between her son and the victims. He was out there watching them. I guess he was the pimp. Think about that. I wonder if her husband even knew she was doing this type of stuff. What kind of man would allow that in his house or even build with a woman? I don't even know if he knew she knew knew about that. Think about this. This woman taught cosmetology, y'all. How to be beautiful, how to make other people beautiful. I'm sure she came at other people, too. And these three victims are not the only ones. And you could probably almost guarantee that more people will come forward. That's why her bitch ass ain't going to go in that damn courtroom and show her face because them parents would have seen her. You a teacher getting ready for the generation of tomorrow. Teaching whatever it is you teach and trying to give life lessons where you'll always be remembered in history and in time of being a good person and trying to get these young minds to go in a good direction. And this is what you do. You know, these children, these girls or whatever, at one point was beautiful little girls, probably like the one you got if you have one or they were loved like you love your children. See, I'm going to tell you something. If you don't care for yourself, nobody will ever care for you out here. And this is a message to young people. If you don't care about yourself, how can you expect anybody else to care? Y'all running around here getting in trouble. A lot of y'all are out here running away and all of this stuff. And granted, it never ends well. It doesn't. Look at this. This woman preyed on people's misery. And they were children. She knows better. She already got her life made up and set. And for her to step into that, uh, over that line and show that she don't care about nobody because she feels as though she got, she will exploit you. She's not the only one. There are people out here that will exploit you, especially if you're a young lady. This woman taught beauty. She was dropping people off at a, 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 a Hotels with men inside the thing. Think about that. They setting these girls up for the kill. Nothing but slavery. This is modern day slavery. I'd set her on fire. I would. You took advantage of the misery and uh, confusion of young people only to get their body and use them like livestock for your own personal gain. Money is that important to you that you'll sacrifice somebody's life? You know how dangerous it is that for anybody to do prostitution, let alone a child being overtaken by a man? You just feed these kids to the wolves. Unacceptable. And you're supposed to be a person of merit, a fucking teacher. I'd give you a lesson you will never forget. You and your fucking son. I'd chop him up in front of you. As soon as you shed a tear, I'd poke both your eyes out with a hot fork. Man, I'm sick of this. Yo, listen. What type of person does this? I guarantee you they look like her. I guarantee you they look like her. They weren't the white kids. What y'all want to bet? What y'all want to bet? And that's the thing. This is sellout shit. Y'all want to talk about sellout shit and all this other stuff? When we fix this, a lot of people got to go. One at a time, they both can start from in front of the line. You know what I'm saying? Sickness. They need to be taken and eradicate it like the uh, outbreak that they are. Wipe them right out of here. Society has no place for people with cold hearts that put that on children like that. What type of PTSD do you think these kids have? 
How do you think it affect their relationships moving forward, even though they out of the theater operation in that cesspool? How do you think their recovery will be? How do you think they look at men? They'll never be able to trust anybody again, thus causing more friction amongst us, people that look like us. They turned this woman for help that she offered like she was a friend. And all she was was an enemy in plain sight. Fucker. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. What kind of woman involves her son into that? I bet you if she was in a place with all women and they were talking about women's rights and all this stuff, she'd be up there, yeah, girl, yeah. All the while, you're teaching your son to disrespect the opposite sex. What's wrong with your heart? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.